In the previous video, we discussed about the fertilization mechanism in plants. Now, in this video, we'll be discussing about the apical basal polarity in plants. This is established during the embryogenesis of plant within the zygote first. First of all, we know there is a pollen, which is microgametophyte, and this gives off the male gametophyte, which combines or fuses with the female gametophyte, that is the egg cell in the plant, and that takes us to the fertilization event and forms zygote in plants. Now from here several genes express within the zygote with which there is an induction in the apical basal polarity in the dividing cells. Now let's see what are the factors, what are the different proteins that initiate the apical basal polarity. First of all we see the male gametophyte has SSP mRNA that's short suspense cell. That means it delivers SSP mRNA to the zygote. Then this SSP mRNA expresses within the zygote and starts the WDA pathway or YODA pathway. It is the mitogen activated protein kinase kinase. Let's see in detail how these events occur. First we know we have the zygote which is formed from the male and female gametophyte. Within the zygote the SSP mRNA delivered from the male gametophyte shows the expression and it transcribes SSP protein. Then this SSP protein initiates the WDA pathway, mitogen activated protein kinase kinase pathway. After this WDA pathway activates MKK45 and MPK36 proteins. These factors in turn activates GRD that's grounded and eventually this grounded or GRD has role to play in elongation of zygote which ultimately leads to the asymmetric division in the developing embryo. And all these events lead to the basal fate in cells. Now let's see how apical fate is driven within the zygote. Simultaneously within the zygote the other factors are also activated like WRKY2 is expressed which leads to the expression of WOX genes like WOX89 genes are expressed. And this WOX89 helps in the basal fate determination also. But here we have to see how apical fate is driven. So to determine the apical polarity, this WX89 genes also activates VOX2 genes. This VOX2 expression leads to the apical polarity in the cells. Moreover, VOX2 also activates PIN1 expression. The PIN1 proteins are the auxin efflux carriers. This generates auxin pattern within the embryo called the auxin polar transport. This also leads to the apical polarity in the cells. Now, in order to understand the expression of VOX and PIN proteins, we see VOX89 expression is on the basal side, while as VOX2 is on the apical side, as you can see in this diagram. Then there is PIN1 proteins, which forms a continuous layer in between apical and basal boundary, thus governing auxin transport also. So this is how this apical and basal polarity is established within the embryo of angiosperms. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to support my work on Patreon and also do subscribe to this channel. Thanks.